Good morning. It's 6.30. I uh, wanted to give you a little dose of my routine. Uh, it's not about routine organization, but um, it's about gratitude. Um, number one reason this morning I'm, grat- uh, I'm grateful is, one, uh, I woke up. That's huge. But we've got this guy right here. He just popped up here. He wanted to sit with me. You looking outside, son? And... Um, Always a good reason to have unconditional love around, and he's a great form of it. But um, this weekend was just a huge wake-up call, just being able to spend it the way I spent it. It was a whole lot of surfing. Uh, I think I found a parking spot I really liked. I don't think I moved for over 48 hours because I got there Friday evening. I didn't leave until Monday morning and just thoroughly enjoyed myself. But just being in like a nice park and being able to enjoy myself like that, get out in the grass, see Coop, just grind his body into the grass and throw frisbee for him. But I'm out surfing and, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful for this. Uh, I'm out there in the water and, uh, it's just a really pleasant day. And, uh, you know, even though the water's cold, I, I still hadn't gotten just super frozen yet. So that's something to be grateful about. But uh, just these giant dolphins are swimming with us. And uh, you could see just like, you know, their their curved bodies sort of diving like bananas with this big sweeping fin on. I was like, man, that that's cool to be out here with nature and have company like that. And uh, it was surreal. So I, I really enjoyed seeing that and just thinking like, man, I get to do this, not this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm entitled to do. But like, I get to do this on a weekend. I have free time. I can afford to, I'm able-bodied enough to do it. And I think that's just so rare that people step back and be like, Hey, you know, I I got a fully functioning body. I'm healthy. I, I come from good parents. I have a great support system. I have a roof over my head. I have clean drinking water. I have zero food scarcity. I have an animal an animal for fun (laughs) and companionship. But I was just thinking like, man, that's just so wonderful. And I get to do this. And I just always try to really absorb these moments because you don't always have them when you're real busy and you're cranking out and your schedule's tight. You're just not thinking about that stuff. And um, practicing that and trying to insert that into your days can often give you a bit more perspective for recognizing how lucky we are uh, in America or, you know, industrialized nations where like, we're able to do this much just on our own volition and it's our choice. So I, uh, I come back up to shore to hang out for a little while and, uh, the doors open in the van. It's normally an open door policy, but I'm also, Hey Bree, everyone joining. Thank you. I also keep noticing just how like it's sort of the open door policy can be good and bad, but everybody has to talk to you. So if you're trying to get stuff done, it could be problematic. But this guy on a bike rolls by and he was just like, Hey man, how much does one of these things cost? And we, we do a breakdown of the van for him to fill him in. Cause he was interested in it. I think he was 74 shredding on a bike. He's just cruising around on this really good beachy sidewalk. And he was like, man, just today is bitching. He just kept going on about it. Yeah, this is bitching, man. I just, this weather. He goes, this is a one in 10 day. And I said, what is a one in 10 day? Um, I don't think I, you know, I hadn't heard that personally, but I'm sure you have a reasoning. And it was part of his ethos. And he goes, you know, you get like 10 days in a lifetime like this that are this perfect. The weather, the waves you know, low wind where you're just, you're feeling it and you're this connected. And he was like, this is a one in 10 day. He goes, I'm 74, man. I've been counting and they're, they're this good sometimes. And I was like, that is a good way of thinking about it. Just to step back for a second and recognize that there, uh, there are days that are better than others, right? That's a human condition. And uh, I thought that was pretty rad just to hear another person's perspective on that because I try to be pretty similar, at least really maximizing uh, those moments where you feel most alive, which is the feeling I call stoke. So that's probably why you hear me say it that much. But I loved his thought for that because it sort of brought me back down like, yeah, man, I'm just out here on a beach doing handstands and 
jumping lunges with Coop and making him chase me for exercise. And I was like, yeah, that's, this is a great way to slow down. And it made me end up getting to the point where I'm like, oh, I like this spot so much, I'm not going to leave. So busted the Traeger out, smoked a tri-tip, had a beer. Just a really nice day, evening turned into the weekend. So maybe I didn't have a one in 10 day uh, for the whole weekend, but that specific Saturday was just perfect. And uh, went back out later that day to surf again. And I'm just staring at this. I thought it was an ugly bird. It was floating in the water and it just looked fuzzy like uh like the ugly duckling like his his uh plumage and the feathers were all messed up greasy i don't know what the deal was and you can't see and you don't want to let your mind wander at what the hell is that thing in the water floating around closer to me so i didn't think much of it and it just kept on getting a little closer and i found it really wild when i finally recognized it as it was an otter just devouring an octopus and similar to the the dolphins, just like, wow, here I am surfing, and I've got an otter having lunch, just floating around right beside me, and it was just a really, again, surreal, and in, increased the value to the moment, which I think is just primo, and that gratitude is where it comes back in, it's just, thank goodness we get to do these things. Another thing I've been noticing is if I'm not reflecting often enough, it's easy to get away from that practice. So like writing down the gratitude or having some sort of, I use this, I like the uh, Brandon Burchard, it's the high performance journal. I think his is quite good. But before it was organized with more calendar components and time blocking, I was already doing it uh, just regularly journaling. I've, I've carried something like this around for a majority of my life since about age 10 uh, documenting and, and at least practicing what I call a grateful book daily, just to try to recognize like, what can we do to be more present and not allowing as much negativity into life and recognizing how much we have in terms of blessings and be for, being fortunate. So, um, it's something I would really consider too. Um, okay. So that's the gratitude. I want to share more with you. But it's not about me babbling. It's uh, about the morning. Because here we are. And the sun is rising. And it's just been so amazing this morning. You can hear the birds. Hadn't seen any wildlife yet. But it is just... Uh, it is just getting going with a little more light. Smells fresh, sounds great. It's sort of crispy out with a nice breeze, but um, not necessarily the place I want to surf, but some caves down there and um, it's not a bad parking spot. So I will, uh, I'll be back and um, I'm stoked to have shared this with y'all. This is sort of what I wish I could share with all my friends and folks that I've been able to take on this journey is this is, what has been making me feel alive for this long you don't have to have a house to have a home and it's normally with people like y'all uh well thanks for everybody coming out commenting and waving uh it makes me super happy to have more people uh involved on the journey and uh keep it rolling forwards ever backwards never uh if you want to do more stuff if you want more of me in your life uh, DM me stoked. Uh, the culture of stoke is sort of my new coaching program. I'm trying to get a little more involved in doing one-on-one -on -one stuff and a whole lot of group platform because I know personally this year it has been a hell of a roller coaster with ups and downs and other stuff, uh, just taking you in the ebbs and flows of life, you know, nothing great ever stays and happiness and sadness are just part of the role. So I'm rolling with the punches and, uh, Having a group support system with accountability and getting these habits involved are how I've been able to keep an even keel even in the dark times. And friends and family are an, an, just a, a crutch that are always there. And why not do that online? If we're going to be virtual now, let's make it real and do it better than we are. Because I think uh, doing it the way we always have is not a reason to keep doing it the same. Have a good Tuesday.